Hello, dear applicants. My name is Alessia. I'm project manager of the degree program Technology and Innovation Management at Harts University of Applied Sciences. Today I'm talking to Rocky, who is going to apply for our degree program. And I hope our conversation will clarify some of your doubts on the application process and the degree program in general. Hello, Rocky. Hello, Alessia. Thank you very much for taking time and answering some of my questions. My pleasure. So I'd like to start off by asking, is it true that the entire degree program will be held completely in English? Exactly. All lectures and exams of the degree program Technology and Innovation Management are held in English. Oh, that's, that's great. It sounds very welcoming for the international students. It does indeed. At the moment, the degree program welcomes students from 20 countries of the world. Wow, that's impressive. So does that mean I do not need to speak German if I want to study in the degree program? That's right. Knowledge of German is not necessary to study in this degree program. All right, got it. Uh, so what if my bachelor program was held in English? Do I then still need to prove my English proficiency by taking a test? You don't have to. In this case, if your bachelor degree was held in English, a relevant document from your university serves as a sufficient proof of your ability to study in English at Hearts University of Applied Sciences. Otherwise, you need to submit an official test certificate. A list of the acknowledged certificates can be found on our website. Okay, okay, I understand. So, what are the main prerequisites for eligibility then? In a nutshell, there are four main prerequisites. We expect our applicants to have firstly a bachelor or their first academic degree in an engineering or an IT subject. Secondly, an average grade of 2.5 or higher according to the German grading scale. Thirdly, a confident command of English at level B2. And fourthly, at least 10 weeks of professional experience, be it employment or internship. Okay, and can I find detailed information on these criteria in the Hochschule website? Yes, sure, you can. Okay, great. So, in that case, will I definitely be admitted if I meet all of the four criteria? Meeting the four criteria makes you eligible, but does not guarantee admission. Technology and Innovation Management is a degree program with restricted admissions, numerous clauses. It means that only a limited number of eligible applicants will be admitted to the degree program so we can maintain the education quality at a high level. Right, and this can only be granted by admitting a limited number of eligible applicants to the degree program. That's right. Ah, okay, so in other words, eligibility does not equal admission. That's right, eligibility does not guarantee admission. Okay, uh, I understand. So, how can I start my application process? Do I send my documents directly to Hochschule Hartz? Generally, it depends on where you received your first academic degree. If you received it in Germany, you will need to apply via the website of our university. If you received it in a country other than Germany, you will need to apply via the website of UniAssist. Application deadlines can be found on our website. Right. And if I apply via UniAssist, then I would need to upload my application on the UniAssist website? and send in certified copies of my education documents to UniAssist by post. Exactly. Okay. You upload your application online on the website and then you need to send certified copies of your education documents to UniAssist by post. Okay. I think I got it. Yeah. So, can Hochschule Hartz verify my eligibility before I apply via UniAssist? I'm afraid no, you will need to apply via UniAssist. The experts of UniAssist will check your documents and forward your application to us if you are eligible. Okay, uh, let's suppose I have applied for the degree program. By when can I expect to get a decision from Hochschule Hartz? As a rule, we send decisions on rejection or admission to our applicants via email in early February for the summer semester and in early August for the winter semester respectively. Okay, I understand. Um, what if a student from abroad is not able to arrive early enough to start the study on time? This is often the case with our students uh, because almost all of them come from abroad. 
In these cases, students are asked to contact us and inform us about their delayed arrival, and we can provide a letter allowing them to join the study one or two months later. Okay, what if my application is rejected? Touch wood. Is there a possibility for Hochschule has to reconsider it? I'm afraid rejected applications are not reconsidered as a rule, but you can apply for the next semester intake. It doesn't guarantee admission, but it gives you another chance. Okay, so in that case, let's suppose that I am actually accepted. What are the first steps I need to do when I come to Vernigrode? So is there someone who can help me find my feet in a new place? Upon your arrival in Germany, you will need to go through some official formalities. Uh, we always send information on these to our students before their arrival. And we also conduct the so-called orientation days, an event helping students to get prepared for their study. And it goes without saying that students can contact representatives of the Faculty of Automation and Computer Science, as well as our international office with their issues. And the student community of technology and innovation management is also highly supportive. Wow, that's great. It all sounds very good to me. Um, I have one last question. So what kind of jobs can I expect upon graduation? So in other words, what are the career prospects offered by the study program? Competence gained in the degree program opens numerous possibilities in the international business, automation, innovation, as well as an opportunity to pursue a PhD. Great. Well, thank you very much for your guidance, Alessia. You've answered all of my questions and now I'm going to get prepared for my application. Thank you for your interest in our degree program, Raki, and I hope to see you among our students very soon. Dear applicants, we hope to have answered some of your questions. For further clarification, please visit our website.